What you think, what you think about When you born into a fire Let them burn, let them burn it out Sell them to the richest buyer They want to let the world decay They tell us lies and fade
<clears throat> wow, dying immediately. What a great start. Hello, 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 everybody. How's it going? And welcome on into the stream. My hair is doing all sorts of things. How is everybody doing on this beautiful... Uh, what is today? Tuesday. I keep wanting to say Thursday. I don't know if Bird is in chat, but... All of yesterday. I was like, it's today, today is Wednesday, right? And then he got me like, it's Monday. Like, what do you, what do you mean it's a Monday? Is Wednesday. So, and then today I keep thinking it's Thursday, and it's not, it's Tuesday. My perception of time is so skewed right now. Anyways, how is everybody doing? We are back with some more Mass Effect. It's been a little while because my mouse broke and then I was doing Lunar New York stuff, but we are back. And I am super, super excited. I am rushing the week. I want it to be the weekend. Oh my god, tomorrow is also Valentine's Day. Guys, for tomorrow, for Valentine's Day, I am doing a little thing. I will be streaming my Zumba. And, um... Like, the only way to make this more of flashbacks to have a lot more green. <laughs> yep. Uh, tomorrow we are having a Zumba Valentine's Day party. And I am super excited for it. It'll be a fun time. But, yeah, we will be doing a little stream for it. And all of us at Zuba are going to be wearing shades of pink and red. And I'm super excited. Sorry, guys. God. Yeah, I'm also a little bit, just a tiny, tiny little bit sicko. Nothing serious. I literally just have the sniffles. And I am taking meds against that. So we are all good on that. Also, guys, any and all subs or bits are also going towards me building myself a PC. As you guys will see, um, my laptop can just barely run Mass Effect, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. But, yeah. We are also experiencing some drop frames, it seems, so do let me know in chat how the network is for you guys but over here it's not looking great so would love to know just how choppy we are it's your mama's birthday it's mama's birthday tomorrow Bert has told me none of that but very good to know anyways with all of that being said let's go ahead and I am trying to remember if Game Capture captures this or not. No, it doesn't. So let's get our window capture. There we go. Uh, we're gonna resume with Mass Effect. Guys, I am hoping that we will finish up. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Jerky1527 just joined the collective with the power of Prime. Over a year, goddamn. Over a year. Also, I love that it's just jerky. It's not jerky, it's jerky. We love that. Jerky, thank you so much for a sub for 13 months in a row. My goodness. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! <laughs> Bert86 just subscribed for nine months. Hey baby, I'm just gonna look. Got so much to do at work as per usual. I love you so very much. I love you. Nine months. Bert, that's a that's literally a baby right there. Someone was born in the months that you've been subbed to me. Wild. You know what that means? You know what that means? You know what that means? It is almost one year for you and I. Wild. Wild. Because we just recently celebrated 10 months. You've been served for 9 months. It's coming up to be... Um... 11 months for us. Which means it's almost a year. 
wild. Hey, we're celebrating that in person. Ah. I'm so hyped for that. Cannot wait. Alrighty. If you guys remember last time, I was mortified that Twitch is gonna take it down. Uh, looks like we're okay. But uh, we have been romancing Caden, so we had one sexy scene with Caden so far. We also lost Ashley Williams. Williams is dead now, so rest in peace to Williams. Damn. Where are we? What are we doing right now? One ginger that just cheered three. You guys started a hype train? Show love 100, show love 100, show love 100. What do you guys mean you started a hype train? <laughs> hype train started. Thank you guys so much. You really do not have to. Right, we are looking for the conduit. I remember now. What? The hype train already. We like just started. I just loaded up the game. What are we doing? Where are we going? I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Okay. Now that he said it, it's gonna happen. Choo choo indeed! Thank you guys so freaking much for a hype train. We haven't had a hype train since my birthday. Have we had a hype train on my birthday? We messed up, right? I think we did. They look like stasis pods. One should be just subscribed for three months. To keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Ginger! Ow! Who's the fuck? Ah, oh, there we go. I see you. JJ, thank you so much for a sub. I really freaking appreciate you. You guys really never have to do any of that, but any and all help like that is so freaking appreciated. You guys started a freaking hype train and you guys achieved level one in it. We know who we love you. Aw, you're too freaking What's sweet. It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Um. Redeploying. Okay. Yeah, that sounds accurate. That sounds accurate, Gertz. My if this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. Would you? I don't know. I just hope that whatever's down here is friendly. We've got enough enemies at the moment. We really do have enough enemies at the moment. Well, you are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI. I could always program. have more. Pretty badly damaged. Possibly. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute, how come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I huh. have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. 
My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. <laughs> but to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization, and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. Hi, Panda. But the Citadel is a trap. Panda. The station is These guys have started a hype train. Relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. So it's seen by nudes, eh? I mean. At this point, maybe. If he turns on the relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated. Cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Damn. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system Handed by up system, the they methodically wiped us out. Bits. Hello, my love. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you. Only 48 days. Panda, thank you so much. Some of you must have managed to survive. One ginger be just cheered. Through the Citadel, bits. the Reapers had access to all our records. Thank you maps, for the four biddies as well, Ginger. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. I really appreciate it, guys. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others <laughs> were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Jesus. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, <coughs> unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, 
and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. He should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. Damn. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down and you killed them? I mean, I guess it was really necessary, but... He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions ah. were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Jeez. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. How do we know this is not a trap? Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Jesus. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Yeah. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Is that all there is to this? We shouldn't be here. Not us. Not the Geth. Not Saren. I wonder how many lived here. Well, a lot, apparently. I feel like I'm walking over a grave. My people once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here. 
but we didn't know it would feel uh. so unwelcome. Come on, get in. Keep going. So I'm now done with TikTok for the next four days. I found on my for you page a person who genuinely did not know why Europeans got to not so bit of course in July. And a different person oh, hold on, we're getting attacked. Wee woo. Hello there. I think I wanna down there. Please leave the vehicle. Why can't I leave the vehicle? Okay, I guess I'll go down. Never mind there. What's over here is what I'm meant to see. I don't know. Let's keep going. And down we go. It's very stuck and looks like it's doing. Almost looks like it's doing freaking. Gundam style over here. Was that a batch? What a batch! How's it going? How you doing? How's life? It's going well over here. I got stuck at work for a while, so I didn't start streaming until way later than I usually do. Well, I just ran him over, so... Uh, also, these crazies have ended up starting a hype train as soon as we started streaming, so that was fucking wild. Ow. Where in the world are they shooting me from? Is that? There's something that is of interest, but I can't seem to find it. See it on the map, but can't get there. There, well, the conduit. It's incredible. That's we what don't that have is. Time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Let's go! Yes. <laughs> really hope it's satire from mental health. Yeah. That is... That is a fleet. Who 
who's destroying who right now? Hold on. I, I feel like I missed something. Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel Control. Citadel Control. Do you copy? Are we late? Are we too late? Conduit closing. We have 37 seconds. Hang on. Things are gonna get a little rough. No shit, Caden. Where am I meant to go? Conduit closing in 19 seconds. What's happening? Are we about to go into space in our little fucking Mako car? We just shot straight up. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedure. Are we about to be in Mako in the Citadel space? Yes, yes, we are. Oh god. Hey guys, you okay? So, uh, we're late. Um... Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Okay. And I'll talk to you. Please begin emergency evacuation. Hello. You dead? You're dead. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Fuck. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Yep. Yeah. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. No shit! Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. I look like I'm on fire. Evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across the okay. system. Come on. Elevator, please. Quickly, before it's too late. Saren's close now. Yep. That's exactly what they're saying, Bash. Okay. We just the closing. They're uh. sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. My God, that's a lot of them.
Where is my team at? Because we weren't in Citadel space originally. Fuck. Joker? Can we get a status report of the Normandy? Damn it, they made it through. Is that the Sovereign? Looks like it. After all of this, we're too late, really. Saren's locked the elevator! Suit up! We're going outside! That looks like an insect. Okay, um, what exactly is the plan right now? That scared me. Okay, come on, guys. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Well, that works. Shutting them down. Okay. Let's keep going. All targets down. Ali is. Wait, what is new? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh god! Shields down. Saying goodnight. Hayden, I need you to Oh, that's Tali. Tali, I need you to back away. I need a target. Need a target? There's one right there on the floor. Stop running at me, it's terrifying. That'd be awesome. Okay, who else is here? What did I literally just say? Do I have melee? I do have melee. I think I've yes. used melee this whole time. Oh great, oh great, oh awesome, that's awesome, that's awesome. Ah. Do 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 do
Yo, my best friend is here. My best friend, best friend until the very end. Best friend, best friend, don't have to pretend. I need a friend and I'm right there, right beside you. Where are we shooting at? Okay. I'm blocked. What do you, what do you block from? Where are we going? I hope you do too. Don't exactly have the luxury of not remembering it right now. I know where I'm supposed to go. Probably over there now that I look at it. Oh. Uh, yes. Your love tally is here. We have ended up romancing Caden. Ah, this is where I got it. Over there. Yep, thank you, Caden. I can't see him. Lag, lag, lag. Oh no! Is it my end lag or your end lag? Stream frozen. Okay. Hold on. What do you mean, stream frozen? It's fine with mine. Are we good? Are we okay right now? Any better? Good for you? Okay. Oh, great. This dropship is exactly what we need right now. Okay, Caden? Caden? It'd be awesome if I could just, like, not miss every single shot that I've been trying to take. I thought there's someone right next to us. There's another one, like, right here somewhere. Where'd he go? I don't know. am I using? Give me my sniper rifle back. Okay. 
Let's keep going. Hold on, let's go this way, let's go this way. Why am I crouched? Daniel bypass. Okay, keep going. Let's go. You think you're back this time? Well, I'm hoping that you are. for a second for Kaden, but we're all good. We're okay. Let's go guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. I did not see the in-game ban. Thank you so much. Amro's Scaries just cheered 100 bits. Banned in game action, moving without being in scope or in sights. To move you have to be aiming. Uh, so I literally don't think I can get out of uh, cover without being not in scope. So I guess we just... Oh, I guess I got out of it. Okay. Oh, we can't run. Running gets me out of scope. Ow. Can I even reach it from here? Okay, 
okay? Good as new. Okay. Why are we hogging stream elements? What did stream elements do? Go into stream bash. Three more minutes of when I'm supposed to be doing this. To my dog bash, I love that. This is doing something. going? I don't know. Could I not be zoomed in? Yes! But then that breaks the in-game action ban. So we'll just have to go with it. You know, you know. Oh, here's somewhere. I smell trouble! sure about that? Because there's a lot of uh, shields over here. Okay. I'm gonna assume this is where we go. Usually shields equals that's where we go. A one minute left of this. Okay. Can I get out of cover? Thank you. Hey, five minutes. I can actually do things. <coughs> I'm gonna do that whole mission. I'm not just zoomed. Zoom. Stream Elements does need love too. Stream Elements. I fucked you forgetting. I'm gonna have to do that later. <sighs> Someone remind me to gift Stream Elements a sub later. Forgetting. More medicaid. So. Yo, hello. Position to get a clear shot. I don't know what to tell you there, Caden. My god. Finally getting out of bed? Why would why would you do that? That is comfy. This is the most beautiful thing you guys I've ever seen in my life. life. It's water water alone. It's out of water alone. Amro's Scar is gifted a tier one subscription to stream elements. Amaris, yeah, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, friend. Us, you really didn't have to do that. Perimeter secured. Stream elements appreciation stream when? Ah, uh, soon. Probably. What did he do? 
I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. Like what? You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You we? survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. Yeah, because they are. began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. I don't think that's now what they did. Are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. <laughs> Organic and machine. Oh, uh, you are so... The of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... Oh, he's so under the control. The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Um, I mean, that's basically what I was gonna do, but holy shit! Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Okay. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can oh, go after Sovereign. Fuck! What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? Huh? Guys, 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 do we- Oh my god, do we save the council or do we concentrate the sovereign? Fuck. Pull it? Goki, can you create a poll? I'll hold off on this for as long as it'll let me. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna get a poll going. 
Or if you guys want to do it uh, this way, I I'm not going to let the council die right away. Um, let's do ones in chat if we're saving the council, twos in chat if we're going to concentrate on sovereign. The council is basically, uh, they have appointed a specter and they are in charge of just like overall everything more or less. Okay, we have two for save the council. We have one for concentrate and sovereign. Fuck the council. Okay. Ah. Uh... Well, great. Now we have uh, two on one, two on uh, concentrate and sovereign. We have two people for save the council, we have two people for fuck the council. One all the way. I need one person in here. Coin flip? Okay. We're doing a coin flip, okay? Um... We're gonna do head council tail sovereign. Okay. We're flipping a coin. It says heads. As you guys can see, it says heads. We are saving the council. We are saving the council. The Coin flip has determined that we are saving the council. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, but Grim just came in and said two. Okay, Grim, 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 before you uh, say anything. One, saving the council. Two, we are concentrating on sovereign. Are we saving the council or are we killing them off, concentrating on sovereign? It is currently a tie. Two people say save the council. Two people say concentrate on sovereign. You are the tiebreaker. Graham, whatever you decide is what we'll do. Amaros and Panda are saying save the council. Gurky and Ginger are saying concentrating on sovereign. We're concentrating on sovereign. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means sacrificing the Council. Sacrifice the Council for the greater good? I sure hope you know what you're doing. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Fuck. Ah. This might end really badly. What are we gonna do without the council in the Commander, system? We're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Open a comm channel. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Make sure he's dead. Fuck! We just killed the council. It's already dead. Is this necessary? He's dead. Guys, 
Oh, that's the Reaper. Tali, Kaden, get out of there. Oh, you good, Chip? Well. Uh, that's not Saren anymore, that's the implant. boss fight. Grim, this is a boss fight. What do you mean, no guns for a boss fight? Okay, well, I can use grenades. Don't have many of those. can't see him. He's right there. Ow. I'm dead. I can't punch him to death. He is up on the fucking ceiling. Here's the thing. I still have no guns for another four minutes. So, how many times more am I gonna die? Uh, what equipment do I have? When it comes to my grenades? What do I have right now? What is this? I don't need the anti-thorian. Uh, give me incendiary. Yep. Let's have some incendiary. Caden's dead. Up. I'm out of grenades. Love that. We absolutely love that. Ow. Uh, I have two more minutes. Two more minutes of no guns. Okay. 
I'll be back here. Tali is doing so much work for me right now. Grim, why you do this? Why you do this to me? Where did Caden die? Where did Caden die? Ah. One minute, one minute, and I can have guns. Come on. There we go, five minutes. I can have guns again. Um. That was perfect time, because now there's Gap here. Please don't, or we will be stuck in a boss fight for all of eternity. Saren, if you're even still Saren, can you like not? Shields are almost down. Okay, his shields are down. Oh, fuck! Damn it. At the end. Oh, we got so close. Okay, 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 okay. We'll have Caden back. We'll have guns from the beginning. We got this. Let's do this, guys. Oh, that's gonna start off from... I am sovereign again. I think. I think that's where it's gonna start. Yep. But we do have Caden alive this time. In and try to stay alive this time. Okay, give him all you've got. His uh, shields are down. So not Chris and Graham. Have you guys met? Now both of my sons are in chat. Oh 
yes, please, 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 please. I was gonna text you tomorrow actually about that. Because I wanted to know how it's going. Okay, there we go. Sovereign's too strong! We have to pull back! Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Fuck. He got his shield back, and so his, uh, health as well. I need a different gun for now. Oh, that's my shoddy. Come on, gun. God, Saren, stop. He's so close to being dead. Tali died. Okay, Kaden, this is the two of us. We got this. There we go. Do we need a fleet attacking Sovereign, or could I have killed Sovereign by just killing? The shields are down. Now's our chance. Oh, just the shields. Okay. Get it with everything we got. Hard on my flank. We're going in. Council is dead. We killed the council rats. Captain. 
and Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Did I not make it? Did I not survive? No, you guys can't leave me. There's no way I said I didn't make it. Yeah, let's go! Oh, we stand victorious. How is that lipstick still on? <laughs> I applied that lipstick like weeks ago. <laughs> the shepherd just like I redo the lipstick every time we're on the Normandy. <sighs> My God. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. I'd like to end this meeting with all my teeth still in place. You should thank me for what I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. Yes. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk about what happened to the Council. Commander Shepard did the right thing. We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree. But this also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council. One with a human chairman at its head. I can see the other races inviting us to join the council. But lead it? That's a whole different story. The other species are scared. They've never faced anything like this before. They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. Did they say that? They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Our strength. The Ambassador's right. The other races look up to us now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our Council Chairman should be. We're about to go to war. We need someone with military experience. Someone like Captain Anderson. You make a good case. Captain, are you ready for this? I don't know if any of us are ready for this. But I'll do what I can. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. They're coming. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Walk away without giving any sort of explanation. Good for you, Shepard. Shepard's right. We're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive. With the support of the other races, we can win this battle. With them behind us, we can stand against the Reapers' return and drive them back into dark space. What was that? Is that the end of first Mass Effect? Did we just finish first Mass Effect? Can I go back to my side quests? Can I finish those? I guess not. Yo, can we get some hype in chat for us finishing first Mass Effect? I 
I'm gonna be able to ask the credits? Hell yeah. If I can, let's do that. If not, we can start the second one. Do we have any hype commands? Does a hype command exist? Hype, let's go! Keep it going, keep it going! I think we have hype too as well, if I'm not mistaken. Brad Prince is such a name. skip this, by the way. This music is a vibe. Can we have some dance party going in, chat? Just spam any and all dance emotes you guys have. Keep it going. Cover the whole screen. so much Gricky what was that um what was that sus emote you got from hype train I didn't really get to see it because I was getting attacked That's a very sus myth. I agree. Also, um, Panda, it says that you were part of the hype train. This hype train ended later for me, it said. Because you cheered and then it said hype train ended with level 2, 800 somewhat uh, bits. So your bits were included in that. So you did not miss it, don't worry. I look like that emote. What do we think of my playthrough of the first Mass Effect so far? Ryan the Rope is such a cool name as well. Love it, great job, love it. Oh, yay! I'm so glad you guys have enjoyed it. I have never played a game like this from start to finish. 
so this is very much a new experience and I've absolutely enjoyed it. Very, very fun. I expected you to not go fully good or bad and the reaction was funny. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like no one is ever fully one side or the other. I feel like it's very much a balance and that's what makes us human. We have good moments, we have bad moments, we are flawed. As human beings, we are flawed. And I feel like we can't just go, oh, gotta only go these two things. No. Hey, Maris, thanks so much for redeeming Kai. I'm new to Hello to everyone who is new. Welcome on in. My name is Blake. I assume they pronounce. I'm a variety streamer over here on Twitch and YouTube, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And yeah, we uh, have just completed our first ever playthrough of Mass Effect 1. And we are just about ready to either continue with the first Mass Effect and go through all the side missions that we haven't finished yet, or we are going to go and start Mass Effect 2, which I'm also super excited for. Drink water, thank you. Everyone in chat who has not hydrated yet. Go hydrate. If I can fucking open my thing, jeez. I really shouldn't encourage this, but yes, coffee absolutely counts. Okay, Gurky. 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 Gurky, we don't need we don't need to bring attention to that again. Just saying. Also guys, thank you so much for all of the bits and subs that have been thrown at me today. All of the bits and subs that I am getting from the next several streams will be going completely towards oh my god amorous that's almost three years but yes all the bits subs and everything that i am getting from twitch will be going towards me saving up to build up um a pc i i have all the components i need i know the amount of money i need i am just gonna slowly save up to get there Almost three years is wild. That is a long time. Yes, thank you guys so very much. All the biddies and the subs really, really, really do help. So, I appreciate you all. Well, the music stopped. And this is still going. Guys, so many people go into making a great game like this is making me a little scared for, um, how small the game I am making would feel in comparison, because I am making it by my lonesome. Here's... This is wild and does feel like longer. Well, Gurky, with you, it's three and a half years already. I... Uh, I've known Amorous for a little later, for a little bit less than I've known you. I met you before I met Amorous. Can you believe that? It's wild. Because I met Amorous in 2021, beginning of 2021, around April of 2021. And then I met you around end of October, beginning of November of 2020. So, there's that. It's wild. Crazy. This year, it's going to be four years. This year, it's going to be four years since I have started streaming. That's crazy to me. And a year since I returned to streaming full time. Are almost full time. There we go. This looks like the end of the credits.
Uh, what we're doing now is we're gonna see if I could possibly finish up the side missions on here. Or if not, see if we can start with Mass Effect 2. So what will happen if I click resume? I just want to see what happens. Um, let's see. That is not where I want to be right now. I'm back with Saren. <laughs> oh, yes, exit. That, that is not what I meant to do. Nope. That's also not. Alrighty, I guess not. So, if that's the case... Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready to start Mass Effect 2? Are we actually doing this? Let's go! Guys, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped right now. Ah. Do I get to make a new character? Mass Effect 2 is a trip. Is it? Does my romance go over? Like, if I had romance, do I stay with that romance? Or are all of my, like, people and all of my things with them just restart? How does this work? Oh. Tomorrow will be nine months of us knowing each other. What? Wild. Okay, we're waiting on the program to respond. It's not responding to us right now. I could transfer my... What? Hold on, I want to do that. I want to stay with what I've chosen so far. How do I do that? New game. Import. Here we go! Oh my god, here we go guys. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Why am I so nervous starting the second one? Ah. Uh. 
Normal, auto level up off, subtitles on. Yep, that looks good. Blake Shepard, level 49. Medical Trader. And she will follow the Paragon path. What's a Paragon path? Status of Rex. Survived the mission of Vermeer. Ashley William was killed on Wormeyer. Oh. Council was lost during the attack on Citadel. Command Shepard recommended Camp Anderson for the seat. Yup. Let's keep going! <laughs> I didn't realize there was a chance that we could have lost Rex on Vermeer. My god. Oh, I got this nice guy, Renegade is bad. Got it. Yeah, we were more or less good. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. Who the fuck are you? The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. <laughs> one month after the devastating gas attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now the Human Led Council is forced to respond to evidence of the Reapers and enormous machines that are eradic eradicated all advanced civilization every five. 6,000 years have returned. To quell the rumors, the Council has sent Commander Shepard and the Normandy to wipe out the la- Fuck. I was reading as fast as I could there. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Why is it out of sync? Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Sorry, guys, I don't know why it's out of. Uh... Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barrier is down. Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Go! 
My god. That's barely anyone on that. Okay, there's several. Joker, we gotta go, buddy. Jesus Christ, our ship! Joker. Why am I moving so slowly? Run! Come on, Commander. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy! I can still save her! There's nothing left to save. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Come on, Joker. They're coming around for another attack! Is this where Cerberus comes in to save us? I really appreciate that right about now. Like, really appreciate that right about now? The fuck kind of start to the game is this? Rest in peace, Normandy, indeed. Fuck! Okay, hold on. Now that I'm out of the cutscenes, why is... Uh, window capture... Why is it not the full screen? Uh, do you guys want the review of the whole thing? Sure, let's have the review. Okay, sorry guys. I was trying- I'm trying Turn to figure out- Turn into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. 
We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. Whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. Good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. A ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. Hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. When is the Sims 4 stream? I'm not sure yet. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian specter named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat. But they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new... appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. 
I told Caden I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else. <laughs> but we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Venezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures. The Rachni. He ordered Venezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni queen. When we let go? These drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate we the bomb, new... Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But it wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Caden saw through my words. He knew I was hurting after Ash's death. He could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, 
each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair, but a friend and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Now we're floating through space. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Is that my body? Are they... revitalizing my body? Where is this technology with so many others that died? This is revolutionary tech. Why are we not using this for like everybody else that died? screen uh, yep 
Yep, accept. Imported faces, good. Uh, I was infiltrated before. I'll continue with infiltrator now. Yep. Alrighty guys, now we have the full backstory of everything. Did our weapon use thermal clips? Yep. Something's wrong. She keeps reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Well done. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Pistol, that's all I get right now. Okay. Grab the pistol and armor for all the time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. Oh god, hold on. I need to. Options, key bindings. Uh Playing steampunk Minecraft with Someone's my life, watching my bestie play me. one of Look my favorite a games. A perfect day. Aww. Camera. some stuff.
results to your promise. Okay. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological. Okay. Which way am I going? How am I supposed to help you? Still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. Yeah. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That right. should be impossible. Unless you've got access. We've got to get you out of here, Shepard. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Two years? You've been comatose. Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. Two the Alliance years? officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low okay, on thermal yeah. clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> I love to hold unbound. Fucking hold what? Command. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Just give the order and I'll hit him with a biotic power. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone Presley else, died? including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Okay. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? 
I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Yeah, noticed I'm fucking alive. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Yeah. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Interesting. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said yeah. you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay, last What's question. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably check, best if we... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. I have so Roger many that, questions. Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Okay. Let's go then. Hostiles detected. This room is all with the mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Come on, buddy. Time to die. Server room B, where the fuck is that? Shepard, down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <clears throat> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Yep, got it. Left mouse button to use Unity. There we go. I'm figuring shit out. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. I guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't right. ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. <laughs> right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A 
bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Yeah, like... Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. Don't like the it. shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Fuck is over. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. All right. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name, name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is, he just needs to answer my questions. All of them. Yeah. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than... What did I just access? That's a lot of dead. Okay. They've seen us. meant to do Despite here. The extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject the Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I like the visual notes to find matching symbols. Okay. Start. Got it. Understand. What the fuck did I grab from here? Okay, let's keep going. Through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you are dead. What? What the hell are you doing? 
my job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. Well done. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Okay. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's Don't right. like that. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You wouldn't leave me. Not after everything you put into this. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Now we died and came back. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to no ask a few questions cool. to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Minduar. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? No way I was gonna let those slaver bastards send me running. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one oh. of your squad behind to die in the blast. Yeah. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Bird, that's not what I meant. I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. Enjoy. We'll have to hope the elusive I man accepts you. our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Oh, good to two years. Two years. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Is 
It's on the prologue. How many do I have? Oh, this costs you. Let's see. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Let's go talk to the elusive man. Don't like this. Oh, we're gonna be a hologram? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. Right. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its... You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Nothing you say is going to convince me to trust you. I need more than words. I'd be disappointed if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. What kind of evidence we're looking for exactly? Go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? Got it. I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Well. Very elusive indeed. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. Mm hmm I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. Yeah, I just I'm hope it was worth it. That. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Probably a liability. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. 
They had a small military force for protection supplemented by We've mechs and security system. drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Hmm. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Hmm. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Cerberus gave me my body back. That's worth giving them a chance. One chance. But you're still not convinced. Not Do you fully. trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? <clears throat> it's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Possibly. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Interesting. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Mm -hmm. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Um, Keybindings for my journal, because that's not okay. I saw what this was. Of that BJ. How that works. Or not. Investigate. Yep. Investigate. mission is complete I think we might call the stream before we actually head into uh, our next mission here because it is almost time for us to call the stream anyways so this might be the greatest time for us to do so we should be there shortly Shepard the elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders?
We're gonna find out who did this and take them down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. Guns now? Hell yeah, I Looks do. like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. We've been here, haven't we? Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. All saved bypass. Where? This? There it is. Got some metagels. We've been spotted. And they're dead. That was the quickest. Stop right there. Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Holly! Shepard, is that... you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza! Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight! One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his soot CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Let's the go, Tali. To the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. 
Right now, we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Tali's taking Shepard being alive much better than I would have guessed it would have been. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks yep. for the warning. We'll take care of See them. Uh, I'm glad to have at least someone from our squad back. Ow! Jesus. I was kind of like in the middle of hacking. My goodness. Really? And you blew up the safe. Damn it. Use overload on it. I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Moving to cover. Right there. Heading to cover. Ah! Affirmative. Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Uh, Mass Effect 3. I have not gotten there yet. This is my first playthrough, so I just got through one, and it's my first time was two. Just started that. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. It's all just that. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Overlord will take out their shield. Swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? 
No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's going to hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. <laughs> Human, where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. Hmm. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Pam, why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Interesting. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? Basically what colonists? people thought what the Reapers were. Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Uh, Not even for you. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Damn. Glad to see Tali still here. We'll love to see Caden. We'll love to see what he says. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? 
Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? Hmm. I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Yeah, now they're interested in humans, though. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? Those Reapers needed bodies. Why is Wasn't the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Great. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. Mm. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the Council fight to them. Council thinks so? Even though we put Anderson in charge? If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Uh, definitely like Where's Kaden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Where's Garrus Vakarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Interesting. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Hmm. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. So Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly hmm. well classified. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Please tell me it's Joker. Someone you can trust. Yes! Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. Oh. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. A lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. 
Everything you stirred up, the council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. <laughs> Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Did they bring back to Normandy? Or get us a 2.0 version? SR2. Oh, what a ship. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Citadel real quick. I just kind of want to like say hi to peeps and be like, yo, I'm gonna lie. Like, is that a possibility? <sighs> Alrighty. And with that, we are going to call the stream here. Thank you guys all so very much for joining me. We will be raiding out as always. Let's see who is currently live right now. Okay, let's see. to be back. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Perfect. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Perfect. Everything is pretty much the same and not at all. Alrighty, let's save here. Welcome aboard, Commander. Alrighty, let's exit the game. All of 
Alrighty, guys. Thank you all so, so, so very much for joining us today. I had a blast. I hope you all did too. Thank you guys so much for all the subs and all the bits. I did not expect that at all. And I seriously appreciate it, guys. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, I am so glad we're back with some more Mass Effect. All of this week, we will be streaming Mass Effect. So be sure to stick around for that. We will be raiding in to Bash's stream. So be sure to stick around for that as well. Uh, if you guys are a sub, here is the raid message for the subs. As well as here is a raid message for all of the followers as well. Grab whichever one you'd like. And I will see you guys over in Bash stream. Thank you guys all so, 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 so very much. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys next time.